Eight years ago, Brisbane biochemist Bill Cham was told of a wild plant which, according to folklore, had remarkable properties. It could, it was said, cure tumours in animals. Now, in this age of high-tech medicine, that's the sort of story a scientist might easily ignore, but Dr Cham didn't. Instead, he decided to do some research. Now, according to Dr Cham, he has a cure for skin cancer and he believes he's also made a major breakthrough in treating internal cancers. Paul Ransley reports. This is a mouse, which we treated with the cancer cells, but not with our drug. And this is the mouse, which we treated with the cancer cells and our drug. And these are the results. So this will, according to the results we have, should survive four generations from here on. And none of the young ones will contract the cancer. This was Bill Cham in 1980, a confident and enthusiastic young biochemist who believed he was on the verge of a major cancer breakthrough. So in three months you're saying that you could have a cure for skin cancer, and indeed. indeed. Well, it's taken a lot longer than three months. In fact, about seven years. But finally, Bill Cham's dream has come true. And we've shown that is very effective against the various types of skin cancers in man, the malignant and non-malignant skin cancers. This is the first time I've seen a chemical removal of a skin cancer, yes. How do you feel about that? At first it was very difficult to understand. Uh, it's un unexpected and uh, quite, to me, a breakthrough. Dr Ross Evans is a GP who's conducted independent clinical tests with Bill Cham's potion. He's convinced it works. Here's some of the evidence. A skin cancer before and after. Another one, before and after. The Queensland Health Department has conducted its own tests and got the same results. The reason it's taken seven years is that we wanted to make sure that the cancers which we had treated, treated uh, did not recur. And seven years is regarded as a cure if they do not return. I believe we could say it's a cure. This week, the first batch of Bill Cham's ointment goes on the market, and that's good news. 10,000 Australians get skin cancer each year, and about 1,000 of them die. But there's even more hope. Dr Cham may have stumbled onto something even bigger. Well, based on the results which we have obtained with uh, the internal cancer in mice, I'm very hopeful, but I must stress the fact that a lot of work has to be done. His experiments with mice suggest he may even have a cure for internal cancers. This is a mouse which was treated with cancerous cells but also with our drug. And this mouse has been treated with our drug about six months ago and it can be seen that it looks very, very close to the normal untreated mouse suggesting that the cancer was reversed completely. But that doesn't mean it works on humans. There are still many, many tests to be done yet. We have actually done the work on skin cancer, hoping to generate enough funds to continue further research into internal cancer, which will require a reasonable quantity of funding and many years further research. But what's even more remarkable about this is that Dr. Cham's breakthrough was the result of a chance conversation he had with an old friend, who told him that this weed, called devil's apple, was good for treating eye cancers in cattle. And he said, I believe you, you've got a, a cancer cure. He said, of, uh, get, uh, get rid of the, the lumps. I said, yeah. Dr Chan investigated. He spent four years working weekends and nights, all his spare time, extracting what he thought was the chemical agent responsible and testing it. Now that investment has paid off, there is only one catch. If he can't raise the money and scientific interest to take his experiments further, he'll have to go overseas, something he doesn't want to do. I prefer the work to be done here. Why? But, well, I feel that um, we've done the hardest part of the work. Um, a lot of more work has to be done, but that's going to be following a certain schedule and that could be easily done here. We've got very good scientists here and Australia's been kind to me. Over the years there have been dozens of so-called miracle cancer cures. None have worked and Dr Cham is not claiming he has the secret formula when it comes to internal tumours. All he asks 
is that he be given the chance to find out. But I'd like to stress that we have no cure for internal cancer. However, this is the definition of research, to go on what you've got. And that's the point. We're very careful in this program about doing those stories. We reject most of these alleged cures. This one appears substantial and interesting, and we've most... Uh, well, it would be a great pity to see it go overseas. Paul Ransley reporting. More in a moment. And not knowing how much of my nose would go, very scary. I would sell our house to save my nose. Six months ago, doctors told Iris Napier she might lose her nose as a result of skin cancer surgery. After spending thousands of dollars combing the world for a cure, Iris found it literally in her backyard. Finding out about Dr. Chum, I just straight away went there, you know, feeling so hopeful that there was another answer to the problem. And there was, because there was a change in straight away after the treatment. But it did come back in the early stages. Um, but this time, it's, it's just so much better and, and it's, it is all gone totally. She's very happy now. She goes out, she has a normal life, whereas previously she didn't. But it's still improving. The most surprising thing is that her nose actually has regrown and it's regrown, it's taking the same shape as it was before the treatment. Brisbane scientist Dr. Bill Chan spent 10 years researching, testing and developing Curiderm. But it's been a difficult decade, validating claims to his peers and a public wary of miracle cures. Yes, they were very skeptic, but when they go to my lectures and they listen to it and they see the results, the skepticism change. I think it takes a great deal of determination to go against the current of thinking at that time. And this is what Dr. Chen had to put up with, even from myself, with skepticism and statements that he was wasting his time. I mean, what he's successfully done is prove that I'm wrong, which I'm very happy to be proven wrong in on this occasion. Australians are a nation of sun lovers. It's a dangerous addiction that drives us to places like Queensland's Gold Coast to bake. Roy Shepherd has lived on that Gold Coast all his life, and he's paid the ultimate price for a lifetime of sunning and swimming. This patient, Mr. Shepherd, had a squamous cell carcinoma diagnosed clinically in the back of his air here. It was the size of a marble when Mr. Shepherd came to see me about it. I was very concerned because it was very close to the soft tissue there and also that it may affect his hearing. So I explained the conditions to Mr. Shepard who has already had experience with Curiderm and other skin lesions and he was quite prepared to treat it. I was very surprised to know that after three weeks the cancer actually just fell off. I, th I think he's a miracle worker and has certainly done tremendous things for me. Another Gold Coast resident, Viv Wright, had a malignant carcinoma the size of a 50-cent piece on his chest. Surgery only made it worse. Then he found Dr. Cham. So where do you think you'd have been now if it hadn't been for Curidone? Um, <coughs> anybody's guess. There are no secret ingredients in Curiderm. The recipe for the removal of skin cancers is remarkably simple. What makes the cream work can be found in the devil's apple or the common eggplant. A single fruit contains enough of the compound glycoalkaloid to make 30 bottles of Curiderm. Minute traces of this ingredient seek and destroy cancer cells. But unlike traditional treatments, Curiderm doesn't damage healthy tissue. Would it be fair to say that Dr. Chan's treatment saved your life? Oh, sure. Um, I think the medical opinion is that uh, these sort of things uh, uh, can cause death. Dr. Chan's miracle cream does save lives. So far, it's cured more than 200 people of skin cancer. But his research doesn't stop there. Even now, the good doctor is working on cures for other, more deadly cancers. To date, the results look promising, but after many years of looking down microscopes, this Brisbane scientist is philosophical about time. It's not as simple as getting a plant material and thinking you've got a cure. With me, I was lucky. It only took 10 years. He's just a miracle work worker, as Mr. Shepherd said. When you see your own nose regrowing, it's, it's pretty wonderful.